What's up, YouTube? Um, Try to shoot this video a couple times already, but my camera keeps stopping. If anybody knows why the T3i does that, let me know. Um, so yeah, this is my video on my evolution sneaker collecting, what got me started. I won't show any recent um, sneakers because it's not about recent sneakers. This is how I started and, you know, a little bit of ignorance in the game and, you know, just uh, regular, regular stuff here. So first off, I just want to show you uh, a kick that uh, was something that was special to me when I was young. And also, you know, when I was younger, you know, we were we were uh, less fortunate, but my mother always made sure we had good stuff. You know, she's probably still paying for these, by the way. <laughs> on some cr random credit card, she's probably still paying the interest on these. So she was uh, she got me these and uh, just got a lot of attention on them. I, I was fifth fifth or sixth grade, or even maybe in the fourth grade. <coughs> I'm 28, by the way, so that's how far back we're going. This shoe, Grand Hill. And uh, I had this shoe in three colorways. I started the school year with this with this colorway. I bought another colorway throughout the school year. And uh, I started the next school year with the Olympic colorway of this shoe. So um, this shoe means a lot to me, and it had a lot to do with me being a sneakerhead. Also, the Jerry Stackhouses. I think it was the following year. <clears throat> Don't know exactly when, but this shoe was also very dope. I owned this shoe. When it dropped and it was uh got a lot of attention. Especially because people just like now, you know, everybody was <clears throat> Nike, 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 Nike. So you came through with a pair of fresh felines. People was like, oh, what are those? You know? Um, right after those, and I mean right after those, I wore boots for about five, six years straight. Uh I might even play gym in boots. I have no idea. But seriously though, um, maybe not gym, but seriously. Uh, nothing but boots for the next, you know, from then until I was an adult. So swamps and constructs in all different colors. It was on my feet, straight. Nothing but these. If I had a pair of sneakers, like I said, it was only for playing basketball in. Um, right after that, I, I went to uh, Kamutali School and I started working. And um, basically, you know, as when I was in Kamutali School in that downtown center of Bloomfield, there was a sneaker store. So I used to veer from the path at lunchtime I'd go get <clears throat> just walk down way down the street and I'd cop some kicks but at that time you know I was just ignorant to the game but I love sneakers so I was getting um Bo Jackson's regular trainers some random Air Maxes and I just saw I remember copping these and this is the actual shoe uh same shoe that I had that at that time uh, I've had it for a very long time and it has cracks right here, stuff like that. I remember the first time I wore this shoe was to a Harry Potter book release with my sister. Went to a midnight release and we picked up. It might was it the book or the movie? I don't know, but uh, it was 05. So, I mean, if you guys want to do some detective work and figure it out. So, this shoe means a lot to me. It's one of my favorite shoes ever. Um, it's definitely my favorite Air Max, plain and simple. And I have the uh, 2010 version. My uncle was in the mall one day and calls me and says, Jay... They got the Air Max 90s in the Nike outlet. They have your size you want me to get them. And I said no, you know, because I had these and, and sentimental value to these. I just didn't want to replace them. So the next day I'm thinking at, job, at work because I work with my uncle. And I'm like, dude, you know, I, I really wish I would have got that other shoe. So being the man he is, he went back to the mall and caught me another pair. Wasted his gas and his time and uh, made sure I had my shoe. Um, SBs. Purple Pigeons. Pee Wee Hermans, Aqua Chalks, and I don't know the name of these. I, I, I do know the name of these, but it's not Vapors. Ha, ah, Vapor Mids. Just came to me. So, I don't know which one of these I caught first. Don't go by the year they released or the day they released because um, they, some of them were sitting on shelves when I, got, when I got to the sneaker store. So, like I said, I was just buying anything. So, I really wanted some SBs. I didn't even know they were called SBs. I do just Nike skateboarding sneakers. So I went to the skateboard shop and I, I love purple. So um, I just bought some shit, some kicks, dude. I didn't even really like these at the time. I just was like, yo, they're different. They're hot, so I'm copping them. So, you know, it's not, not really needed. I like this color, too. So I just bought them because I like the colors and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, come to find out, Purple Pigeons ends up being a straight up grail. Pee Wee Hermes, you know, I, if you're into SBs, you need no explanation on, on the, the, the straight up hype for this shoe. 
these shoe, these two are not, you know, sought after like the other two. But I was able to just walk in the store and cop these two. I did get upboxed on on uh, all of these actually, because <clears throat> at that time I didn't know, but SB already had a following from Gray Box and Pink Box, so um, I didn't know why I was getting upboxed. But I had money, so I didn't care. I was just like, whatever, dude. I don't care what you charge me. Just give me my kicks. And uh, after that, I did get sick of it, cause. I was getting Jordans for below box, so I'm like, why am I getting Jordans for below box um, for my connects, and I'm paying above box on SBs, and at the time, I didn't know SB was going to take off. I wish I would have stuck with it. I would have had other crazy releases that are probably $600 now, maybe tips, maybe, I don't even know, but you know what I mean? Um, I stopped buying SBs for a long time. I got back into them and backtracked and caught a bunch of kicks that I missed out on, <clears throat> but... You guys know I'm an SB head. I still love SBs. I buy SB. I buy a couple pairs every month. So, copper foam. I happened to be at a sneaker store with my cousin. He wanted me to go with him to the sneaker store. He knew I was into sneakers. He says, yo, I'm trying to spend some money. It was income tax time. So, you know everybody's balling at income tax time. So, my cousin Maj makes me go to the sneaker store with him. We're buying clothes. And I see this shoe. I'm like, wow, I've never seen this shoe in person. I hated it in pictures. I hated it when Sneak Geeks talked about it. When I saw it in person, I was like, wow, I want this shoe. But I had just went in myself, so I was broke. My cousin, Macho, reached in his pocket, lent me $200, and I bought them. They was actually trying to charge me four, but I, I bought them at, uh, I had them ship it to the uh, store where I had to connect that. And, uh, you know, same shoe he wanted $400 for, I got in a store down the street for $200. So, shouts to Macho for lending me the money to cop those when I did. <clears throat> One of my favorite shoes, and I'll show you which one it is later. Well, I'll just tell you. The Flint Jordan 13. Favorite shoe of all time. Went to the... went. Uh, I, had, I owned it when it was first came out. But when it re-released, I went to downtown. I took a while. Just, I don't know. I don't even know why it took so long trying to go downtown and cop them. But when I went downtown to cop them, obviously they were sold out. I, like, me being ignorant to the game again, I'll say it again. I was, it was just ignorant to sneaker collecting. I had no idea that it was what it was then. And that it would become what it is now. So I slacked off and I ended up having to buy these. Not uh, not a hype shoe at all. They actually turned really yellow on me. I didn't get to wear it a lot. I have a flash on so you might not see the yellow but this is the oldest shoe in my collection. It's not, the, it's not chronologically the oldest shoe but it's the longest. It's the oldest shoe that I've ever bought. Um, I do have some pretty old shoes from 2002 but I didn't buy them. I bought them in like 09 so now we're going in my evolution in jordan this was a shoe that i got really good taken care of on my boy jan who actually sold me a buttload of uh sbs and jordans <clears throat> he uh my uncle was at sports authority just whatever jan that worked at sports authority hooked my hooked, hooked my uncle up with these i think we would pay like 65 dollars crazy price thanks again jan and that was uh early in my jordan days Another sneaker, early in my Jordan days. Beautiful shoe. I mean, beautiful shoe. So underrated. I can't see why people ever talk about the Laney's when this shoe exists. This shoe is so much nicer than the Laney's. But, you know. Yo, and at this time, guys, I was passing on a lot of stuff. I passed on grapes. I passed on the Olive Fives. I passed on the Burgundy Fives. I passed on Aqua Eights. I passed on a lot of stuff. Stuff that was easy to get. And I had plenty of connects out there because I was spending money like crazy. You know, being young and, and cutting hair, I had I had money and, and no responsibilities. And I was just passing on stuff like, I'll get it later, I'll get it later. And, and I really regret it now. Um, these two, me and my man Nate was talking one day. We're like, yo, we need to get these shoes. So uh, I was able to get on the phone. I waited 11.59. I called East Bay. I got us four pairs. Two for me, two for him. That's crazy. That will never happen these days for two reasons. One, you can't call East Bay no more and do the releases. Two, you can't even buy more than one, let alone... You can't even get the one you want, let alone get off the phone or internet with four pairs. So that's crazy. Two for me, two for him. And uh, also, this is one of my favorite shoes ever. I have the uh, newer version too, but it doesn't have the gold lace locks. So if I ever have to stop wearing this shoe, which I haven't worn the newer pair, but if I ever do have to stop wearing this shoe, I'm going to transfer the lace locks for sure. <clears throat> These are yellowing on me, but I love gray and I love purple, so obviously one of my favorite shoes. This is my early Jordan days. Thank you, guys. 
and uh, take these, please. Thank you, sir. And basically, just want to show you now my grails. This is one of my favorite sneakers of all times. Like I told you guys, Jan sold me these. Jan is a really cool dude. No, but thank you, seriously though. Jan blessed me with these at an unbelievable price. You guys won't believe. But thank you very much. This is my Grail SB. This is one of the most beautiful shoes ever made. And I'm so happy to own this shoe. If you don't like this shoe, if it's too loud for you, you know, I'm just going to say sorry. <laughs> sorry you can't enjoy this beautiful shoe. This is the De La Soja. Now, this is my favorite shoe of all time, period. Not only my favorite Jordan, but my favorite shoe. Flint Jordan 13s. I have two pairs of these. This is my non-DS pair. I have a DS pair that I've never planned on wearing. Favorite shoe of all time. I owned it when it first came out, whether it was 97 or um, uh, 98. I don't know. But I owned it and uh, loved it. Broke a lot of necks. Had got a lot of compliments, a lot of attention. And what ended up happening, I ended up getting into a fight. Some of my blood, some of his blood was on him. And I went to buy him again. Uh, like I said, being ignorant, did not know that Jordans sold out. So stupid me went downtown with the money and was not able to get them again. And I told you the story of how I messed up and didn't get them in 2004 either. So best shoe of all time here for me. I also have, I love them so much that I bought the uh, the colorway of uh, six rings. So that came in fully too. So I'm done, guys. And, and this is my, like, you know, evolution. The sneakers, my grails right here. I just wanted to show you guys because they mean a lot to me. My Jordan section also definitely means a lot to me. That, that, that Those early Jordans, you know, they, they're near and dear to my heart. I'll show you this new G-Shock that I just caught.